India's defense aviation landscape is witnessing a strategic shift as Airbus positions its H-125 helicopter to replace the stalled Kamov KA-226 deal with Russia. With growing geopolitical uncertainties and delays plaguing the Russian deal, Airbus sees an opportunity to strengthen its presence in India's military aviation sector. Airbus is in the final stages of selecting a location for its H-125 production facility, with Andhra Pradesh emerging as the preferred site. This will mark a major milestone for India's aerospace industry, as it becomes the first private sector assembly line for civil helicopters in the country. The facility aims to reduce manufacturing costs, lower tax burdens, generate employment opportunities, strengthen India's self-reliance in defense and aviation. India's defense modernization plans include a requirement for approximately 398 light-class helicopters for the Indian Army and Indian Air Force. The original procurement strategy involved 198 twin-engine cam of K, A226 helicopters from Russia, assembled locally with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. 200 indigenously developed light utility helicopters from HAL. However, negotiations with Russia have stalled due to pricing concerns, technology transfer issues, and geopolitical factors. This has opened the door for Airbus to offer the H-125 as an alternative solution. The H-125 is a 2.8-ton single-engine helicopter with a seating capacity of six passengers, a range of 630 kilometers, and a maximum altitude of 23,000 feet. The Indian Army chief recently visited Airbus Marignane helicopter facility in France, where he was briefed on advanced aviation technology and the capabilities of the H-125, signaling growing interest in the aircraft. The H-125M is an armed helicopter by Airbus, designed for reconnaissance, light attack, and various military missions. It supports a range of weapons, including Airbus H-4 system. With a small silhouette and infrared reflective paint, it enhances stealth by reducing its radar signature. The H-125M can also be equipped with various light weapons mounted on its pylons. Additionally, the H-125 single-engine configuration contrasts with the originally planned twin-engine cam of K-A226, which offers better safety and redundancy in challenging operations. Both the H-125 and LUH are single-engine helicopters, making it difficult for Airbus to directly position its aircraft as a one-to-one -one replacement for the K-A226. This development follows Airbus' $2.51 billion collaboration with TASL, the Indian Air Force's C-295 transport aircraft, reinforcing its growing footprint in India's aerospace sector. By setting up the H-125 production line, Airbus not only strengthens its business prospects, but also aligns itself with India's broader goal of reducing reliance on foreign military hardware. With Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh emerging as aerospace hubs in South India, Airbus' choice of Andhra Pradesh for its final assembly line highlights the state's growing prominence in the aviation industry. This strategic move will bolster local employment 
drive economic growth, and reinforce India's position as a key player in global helicopter manufacturing. As India weighs its options between the H-125, LUH, and the uncertain KA-226 deal, the coming months will be crucial in determining whether Airbus can successfully position its helicopter as the preferred choice for India's defense modernization. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Hey there, are you pursuing aviation studies and struggling with aviation subjects? Don't worry. At Jetline Marvel, we bring over 10 years of experience in the aviation industry. We've crafted an amazing textbook packed with valuable content tailored to your graduation requirements and aligned with Bangalore University's curriculum. Check out our book on Amazon and order your copy today.